Dan Coulter, the syndicated columnist, conservative commentator, number one New York Times bestselling author. Her newest book is Guilty, Liberal Victims and Their Assault on America. And in New York, Reverend Al Sharpton, president and founder of the National Action Network, noted civil rights leader and a syndicated radio host. All right, the statement was issued today from the White House concerning the meeting that took place earlier between the sergeant, the president, and the professor. I am thankful to Professor Gates and Sergeant Crowley for joining me at the White House this evening for a friendly, thoughtful conversation. Even before we sat down for the beer, I learned that the two gentlemen spent some time together listening to one another, which is a testament to them. I've always believed that what brings us together is stronger than what pulls us apart. I'm confident that what has happened here tonight, and I'm hopeful that all of us are able to draw this positive lesson from this episode. Ann Coulter, do you think that will put it away? Um, I don't think it should. Um, and also, by the way, I do think there was a little racial profiling with the president assuming the Irish cop would like to drink beer. No Chablis here. Um, that's a little stereotyping. Um, but no, I mean, I think it is a teachable moment. But the, but the teachable moment needs to go to Barack Obama and to Henry Louis Gates. Um, we have one case after another of these where, where there is an assumption of racial profiling or racism by cops or by teachers. And you have one hoax after another from to Juana Brawley to the Duke lacrosse case. I mean, if we're going to claim that there is this, this rash of racial, racial profiling in America, you know, eventually there's got to be one real case of it. All right, Al, how do you counter? Well, first of all, I think that you must deal with the fact that what the president did tonight was absolutely the right thing to do, to set a tone and a climate so we can go forward and deal with both what police are dealing with in terms of trying to fight crime and their fears and what people have to deal with, with documented cases of racial profiling. There are 23 states that have laws on racial profiling. There have been any number of states that have studied and documented it. Uh, to say that they are all hoaxes is, is, is and, you know, being and. I think the fact is that when you see almost half the country dealing with this as state law, even the Justice Department under President Bush documenting the differences in terms of arrest yeah. and in terms of stops and searches. I think but now we the, have a uh, climate to deal with it. And the question is, was this racial profiling? And the other night on this show, uh, um, Colin Powell said, looking at both sides, he said that the professor was wrong for getting angry. It's a cop. You listen to the cop. The cop was wrong for arresting them. Are you saying, Ann, that there is no racial profiling? Are you saying that doesn't exist? Um, I'm saying that probably everything under the sun exists at one point or another. Whether this is a crisis or No, that's or not epidemic. the question. Does racial right. profiling I, exist? But I, no, I do not think that there is an epidemic of racial profiling. I think there is an epidemic of, of claims of racism that turn out to be a hoax. I mean, like I say, you go back to Tawana Brawley. There was also the case of the Exeter kid, um, Edmund Perry, I think But because was. those were hoaxes, and are that, you saying that therefore there is no racial profiling because they may not well, have been of, racial profiling? Well, all of the you big can't. cases that were released to us and, and Bill Clinton but, citing um, a racial incident that was known to be a fraud in his de Democratic ex acceptance speech at the Democratic National Convention in 1992. There was the Kiko Garcia case in New York, allegedly racial profiling shot a kid. It turns out he's holding a machete. He was turning. Uh, but do you he think, I think the gun. question, uh, before I come back to Al, Ann, do you think it's possible that a black man in America last night might have been stopped by someone? Black, by a policeman just because he was black. I think it's yeah, possible forget, that a man bit a dog yesterday. But if I keep hearing about man biting dog stories, I want to see one real one. Um, what we okay. have is so dog because, bite man stories, and we're keep we're, we're told every time the man bites a dog story okay. turns out to be false. Oops. What you hear right. is, well, okay, this one wasn't right. true, Sergeant but Crowley, they're all Sergeant the other Crowley, ones. Hold it, hold it. Sergeant Crowley spoke to the media after he had the beer with the president and the professor. Here's a little of what he said, and then we'll have uh, Al comment. What you had today was two gentlemen agree to disagree on a particular issue. I, I don't think that uh, we spent too much time uh, dwelling on the past. We spent a lot of time discussing the future. What did you make of that, Al? Good well, idea? I, I think that uh, it is a good idea, particularly of now, those in law enforcement and those that are involved in fighting for these cases can come together and sit with those in government and try 
in this climate of trying to deal with what is fair and equal for all, do that. I mean, I remember when Janet Reno had began that, I would hope that Eric Holder and others picked that up. And I think that the fact of the matter is there are clear cases that have to be dealt with. I mean, you can go from Rodney King to Abner Lewima on and on where people went to jail. I'm, I'm not going to get into this argument with, with, with uh, Ann. Clearly, 23 states are not hallucinating racial profiling. And Colin Powell said on this show the other night, talking about his own experiences going to a county. So all of these people are not making this up. To go 23 years ago to Brawley, uh, I mean, try to find something this century, and we're talking about a problem the Duke that case. we, uh, well, the Duke Lacrosse case was not about profiling. That was about a report. You maybe need to find okay, out what profiling is. Well, but but racial and it was profiling, by the media, racial and it was profiling is when there is an assumption made based on race when there is no one that had called in a report. And I think maybe if you understood the definition, you could not deny it. Uh, Al, do you think it's it possible? that the, the you think Colin was right when he said the professor overreacted? The question becomes, that's why you need to have law enforcement and all of these forces sit. The question is, what is overreaction in your own home? We need to define that. Is it possible? Sure. What we need to do now is deal with law. If you're in your house, someone comes to your door, you think it's the repair man, it is not, they order you out of the house, however you respond, is that overreaction? The, the fact of the matter is what we do know is the prosecutor said we're not going forward with this case. It's interesting to me the police unions, Larry, were mad at the president. They never questioned the prosecutor's decision saying we are not going forward, which meant what undermined the arrest was not the president, not those that supported Dr. Gates like me, All but right. when the prosecutor stopped now, the case. And on the other hand, forget well, if it's your house and they forget racial, it's your house. They're questioning you about your own house. Would you be ticked? Um, in fact, I have been, at least in the initial crankiness by Professor Gates, I have been um, somewhat of a defender of his as I, in as much as I am someone who travels a lot. And I get a lot of, cr I get cranky too, especially after a long trip from China. What, what it can't be defended, I think, is the next 48 hours, the next week, when he could calm down and think, oh boy, I overreacted, wish I hadn't done that. Um, but I think that is a problem. Both aggrieved minorities and aggrieved females are told to take every slight, interpret everything as, oh, it's because you're black, it's because you're a woman. And I don't think that's good for blacks or females, and I don't think it's good for the rest of the country. And there's just one thing I'd like to say about the studies on racial profiling and even the Bush administration coming up with them. The Bush administration itself suppressed a study that disproved 8 billion racial profiling studies about the New Jersey state troopers. There was a scientific study setting up cameras of people s speeding it turns out new jersey state troopers by scientific evidence that was they, their bush administration kept rejecting rejecting um we're stopping if anything not enough blacks so, so you're Jersey. saying i gotta get a break guys hold it hold it hold it i'll come right back hold it hold it i'll come right back with you hold it okay uh, hold it uh, uh by the way who are you more likely to agree with ann or al i think they disagree go to cnn.com slash larry king and have your say and by the way the boston police officer who's in hot water over all of this he'll be with us in a little while stay with us